Protein is often seen as the safe choice in the world of diabetes management. It's not carbohydrates, so it must be harmless, right? Well, not quite. In the next three minutes, we're diving into something that many people overlook, what happens when you overeat protein with diabetes. Spoiler alert, it's not as simple as you might think. Watch until the end to discover the proper protein intake for optimal diabetes control. Number 1. Protein and Gluconeogenesis When we think of diabetes, we're trained to focus on carbohydrates because they directly raise blood sugar. But what many don't know is that protein, when consumed in excess, can also turn into sugar. This happens through a process called gluconeogenesis, where the liver converts extra protein into glucose. Normally, protein is broken down into amino acids, which the body uses for muscle repair and other essential functions. But when you consume too much, those extra amino acids don't just disappear, they eventually become glucose. Now, for someone managing diabetes, this can be a problem. Even though this process takes time, it can lead to slow and steady blood sugar increases, especially if the excess protein isn't balanced out with other nutrients like fiber or healthy fats. Over time, this could complicate diabetes control, particularly in those who are insulin resistant. Number 2. Kidney Strain As we continue, please subscribe to this channel if you're finding this video helpful. Thank you. But blood sugar isn't the only concern. For people with diabetes, the kidneys already have a tough job. Many diabetics are at a higher risk of kidney disease, as their kidneys have to filter more waste, especially if blood sugar levels are chronically high. When you add an excess of protein to the mix, you're making those kidneys work even harder. Why does this matter? Protein breakdown produces waste products like urea, and filtering out these products takes a toll on the kidneys. For someone with healthy kidneys, this may not be an issue, but for diabetics, especially those with compromised kidney function, this extra workload could accelerate kidney damage. This is a big concern, given that diabetes is the leading cause of chronic kidney disease worldwide. Number 3. Nutrient Imbalance Now here's another twist in the tale. Protein might be great for building muscle, but eating too much can actually lead to weight gain. That's right. When your body can't use all the protein you're feeding it, the excess is converted into fat and stored. And as we know, carrying extra weight is one of the biggest contributors to worsening insulin resistance, which makes it even harder for your body to manage blood sugar levels. For people with type 2 diabetes, this is a dangerous cycle. Overeating protein leads to weight gain, which leads to more insulin resistance, which makes it harder to control blood sugar. Finding the right balance. When your diet is packed with protein, there's often less room for other crucial nutrients. Fiber-rich foods, like vegetables, help slow down the absorption of sugar into the bloodstream, which is critical for people with diabetes. But if your plate is overloaded with protein, you might neglect these vital foods, creating a nutrient imbalance. This imbalance doesn't just affect blood sugar, it impacts your overall health. Fiber, for example, plays a crucial role in gut health and maintaining stable blood sugar levels throughout the day. Similarly, healthy fats like those found in olive oil or avocado help improve insulin sensitivity. By neglecting these key components of a balanced diet, you could be setting yourself up for long-term health complications. So, how much protein is too much? According to guidelines from organizations like the American Diabetes Association, about 15 to 20 percent of your total daily calories should come from protein. For most adults, that's around 50 to 60 grams per day. It's essential to spread this protein intake throughout your meals and balance it with the right amount of carbohydrates and healthy fats. The goal isn't to avoid protein. Far from it. Protein is still an essential part of any balanced diet, especially for managing diabetes. But moderation is key. Too much of a good thing can lead to unwanted consequences like blood sugar spikes, kidney strain, and weight gain. Instead, Aim for balanced meals that include a variety of nutrients to support not only your diabetes management but your overall health. Overeating protein with diabetes might seem harmless at first, but it can lead to several hidden consequences. By focusing on moderation and maintaining a well-rounded diet, you'll manage your blood sugar better. You should also watch this video on our What Happened series. And please subscribe to this channel if you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.